Hi there, so now we've got the logo installed. The next tutorial that I want to do uh, is to show you guys how to put the client logos in here. So if I go back to the back end of the website, you look down the different post types here, we've got one that's called clients. So if we click on clients, uh, and you'll see here, we, obviously we've got the demo content in there, but there's no images. So the first one that we're gonna click on here is client one. And then if I just close this here and just show you I've got my images already so I've already created these images here um, and all I'm going to do is go down here click on the actual um, main image for the client and then we'll just drag and drop all these different logos up here that we've used for the demo so there we go so we can pick that one first just as an example so we click that and then if we wanted to we could change this instead of it being client one we could actually put the client name there if we wanted to but if i update that and then we go to the front end of the website we should hopefully get uh, one of those logos updated on there so you can see there it updates that and then it's it really is just a case of repeating that process to uh, put your client logos on there and filling up the different clients that we've put in the demo data for you so client one to ten if you put all the different logos in there go even higher than that if you need to and it will add all these logos into here so thank you very much the next video tutorial i'm going to show you guys how to um, use the what we're calling the lax effect where you've got, got the hover effects so if i just go to the main home page on the demo and i'm going to show you guys how to make these images and how to use this effect uh, through Visual Composer. So thank you very much and see you in the next video.